Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Omar Hamid and today I will show you how you can create a drop down list in Microsoft Excel. This is a perfect feature for you or people working on the spreadsheet to choose only from specific options to fill in the cells. So let's go into Excel to see how we can do it. Here I am in Excel and I have those characters from the Office series. And I want to put the department of each one of these next to their names. So what I can do is to write the department of each one manually. So I have to write, for example, here, management. Then I have to go sales. But this will take a lot of time. And imagine that I have a sheet which contains 100 or 1,000 names. And I want to do that. It will be very time consuming. And also the efficiency will be less because I may have some spelling mistakes or I may capitalize a letter which should be small or the opposite. So a better way to do it is to make a drop down list and choose from it for each one the department of him or her. So let's see how we can do it. So in order to create a drop down list, first I will select the cells that I want to make the drop down list for them. And then I will go into data and here I have data validation. I will press on it and here I can see that it allows any value, but I want it only to allow certain values in a list. So I will choose list and the source, I will type my options here. So management, sales, accounting. And I will press OK. So now you can see that when I press on each of these cells, I will have this arrow, which if I press, I will have the options here. So I will start choosing, for example, Michael Scott Management, Jim Halpert Sales, Kevin Malone Accounting, and I will choose it for everyone. And a second way is to choose from options which are already present rather than writing them manually. So here I will select the cells that I want to choose the sales quota for, for each salesman or woman. And I will go into data validation. And here I will select a list. But this time instead of writing the options, so instead of writing a 0 to 9, then comma, 10 to 19, and so on, I will select the source as the table. So I will press here. I will select this table. Press enter. OK. And now I have the options from this table. So if I press here, I will choose the sales quota for each salesman. So 20 to 29, Stanley 10 to 19, and Andy 0 to 9. So now you can see how I can select the options from the drop down list, which is depending on the sales quota table here. All right, that's how you can create drop-down lists in Microsoft Excel. This feature will make your work much easier, especially when you want to restrict filling in the cells with specific answers. Hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up to keep supporting my content.